Hi guys, 14 Prime here, back with another custom review. And today we're looking at a Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Scattershot. Now this is actually very different than what I normally do. Usually it's something Studio Series or Shadow Glass related. This is different. I uh, I saw a Digibash, which I'm going to have on the screen now, by DeviantArt user Airhammer in the description below. He basically started all of this, and if you're watching this, I saw I got some Shadow Glass Digibashes, man. So, uh, so I'll respect. Anyways, here it is in the tank mode. And as you can see, it does not have the normal gun. I do still have Impactor's gun. That would normally go there, I just choose not to. This is the best I could do to replicate how the vehicle mode is supposed to look. Which I actually... I don't have a scatter shot, but I have a drop kick. Not drop kick, drop shot. You can kind of see. I couldn't get it to look like this, sadly. This is the best I could do. What I want to do is use these to go here and then make it look a little bit better, but they don't fit. Well, yeah, the iron hat guns actually work out pretty well. Like, for the best I could do, is I don't think this is that bad, honestly. It just makes them have a really long turret. I mean, it can still rotate, so that's cool. Some silver there. Some gunmetal treads. The head kind of sticks out a little bit because we don't have Impactor's gun covering it because I shaved that down. So I, I said no. Did not want it. Speaking of which, I'm going to have a little picture to the right of Impactor's colors for those of you that don't know about the Siege Impactor toy. Oh yeah. Since, since this isn't really a video review, I don't really want to go through the transformation, so if you'd like that, you should probably try to find a Siege Impactor review. <laughs> so anyways... Without further ado, let's get this guy into his robot mode. And I think this looks really good in robot mode. Like, I think this mold weirdly works a lot. Now for the head here, what I actually had to do is, it's Impactor's head. What I did is I shaved down the fin, I made a little visor with a, a, an old credit card, and I took Transformers Prime Hotshot's goggles, shaved them down, and attached them here. Which I think actually, it's not perfect. But I think it works. And what I realized I forgot to do in the beginning was show off my paints. So, all the blue. I used blue. As you would. For the black, I use <laughs> I use black. <laughs> there's, there's an interesting color thing, don't worry. For uh, the gunmetal on the treads and inside of the gu on guns, I just use regular gunmetal. And for all the silver, it's flat aluminum. This is what I normally use. Now what's kind of funny about this is that there are three different colors of basically a shinier color. For the gold that's on the arms and the chest, it's a gold leaf. For the gold on the head, it's titan gold, or titanium gold. And then for the missiles, it's copper. Oh yes, and before I forget, for the arms... I can find the color. I used flat earth. I just think the name's pretty funny. Anyways, let's get some comparisons in here. First, the old drop shot. Which I think this is kind of funny. And then we have the only two Cybertron figures in Siege. Have, kicking them over, we have Galaxy Prime. I get them all situated. And Hot Shot. Let's zoom the camera up a little bit. Which I think these three look amazing together. And before you ask, yes, I'm doing Red Alert. Just gotta give me time. <laughs> but he is coming. And I will have a video of all, three, of, all of them together. Zoom back in a little bit. But yeah, overall, I actually really like this mold. I wasn't planning on getting it initially because I have Master Hand Creation Spartan. So whenever I saw the Gym Factor, it's a really cool figure. I just didn't really need it. But since I saw the Digi Bash, which you know it's actually put that right here in robot mode just for a second. Since I saw the Digi Bash, I had a reason to buy it. Yeah, overall, 
I love this custom. I like the mold too. If you guys want to see Jim Pactor, go for it. If you don't have Spartan, he's worth it. If you do have Spartan, save 20 bucks. <laughs> save 20 bucks because you spent like 80. <laughs> well, yeah. Again, red alert's coming. It should, it'll probably be a while because the figure hasn't come out yet. So, stay tuned for that, I guess. So anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, please be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out my Tumblrs and Facebook pages where I post customs like, like this one. Link in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime, signing out.